you'll hear, lead pastor of Crossroads Community Church in Vancouver, Washington. Hmm. We would love to connect. So I got my car washed the other day and ever since I don't know what they've done to my radio and I very rarely listen to the radio but you know sometimes I'm quite partial to a wee capital FM listen but they have put me on some funny setting and it's now a pastor like the church and I genuinely don't know how to change it. Anywho, good morning chicken nuggets, welcome back to a new vloggy loggy log log log. I am feeling so proud of myself, it's currently five to seven in the morning I got up at half six and this wouldn't normally be a win I would celebrate because I not to my own home normally do get up at that time and go to the gym but this past week two weeks no I was blaming it on the jet lag and you know what it could well be the jet lag however I'm starting to feel like there's actually a deeper rooted problem I just phoned the doctor yesterday and I said look Something's not right. I said I have headaches every single day. I am shattered beyond belief that like I cannot get in my bed in the morning. And when it comes to like five in the afternoon, I'm actually like, please don't talk to me. I don't have any energy to reply. I know I actually do have an iron deficiency, like straight up facts, I know that. But I can't take those tablets that make your poo black because I have IBS and they just make me super constipated. So it's a vicious circle. Uh, hello, Tang Green, these lights. I've been here for fucking ages. Yeah, it seems like a nice day. The weather, there is rain on my window, but that's old rain. That's so weird, that rain didn't move. I have good vibes for today, and I have an event on tonight, so I think it's quite fun to just vlog, bring it along, whatnot. I'm quickly just stopping at Tesco before it's the gym, because I need my little squares bars. That's what I had before. I do a workout in the morning, just fill the old tummy. I would love, love, love a monster, but I'm seriously trying not to. Ooh! Nearly ran red light, but it was amber. There was one bottle of this left. That clearly is a sign that today is my day that I got the last bottle of this. Mmm! Why is it so good? Just dance. If I ask you to dance. It's red pepper and spinach ones, please. Gym done. My arms are jelly. My arms feel like Mr. Tickle's arms. Look, I also forgot to tell you I got my hair done yesterday. I got new extensions, like new brunette extensions, because obviously my last extensions began being ginger and I dyed them brown, so they were a bit of a like, funny colour up close. So all new extensions got my hair dyed while I was at it. It's very dark, but I love it. I'm a dark haired princess now and I couldn't be more pleased to be honest because I managed to scrape myself out of bed I decided I deserved a wee um, Starbucks so obviously ice brown sugar oat shaking espresso then obviously I got my egg bites I've really I've really cut down the egg bites consumption I really really have actually I've just cut down my whole um, Starbucks consumption oh my god two sriracha's Lucky me. I'll never be the same. Heaven and a bit of cardboard. Mm. So you'll have to excuse my face. Look, I put like tan on my face and it's went all, this actually makes me look a bit better. Thank you, Sony, for the face blurring, but it's pretty terrible, in all honesty. Um, what should I have? Strawberries. Protein yogurt, protein shake. This is even in date, it's been a while. Yeah, amazing. Got a whole nother year out of it. And some honey and shit. Mum McGain's. <laughs> My mum's sleeping because she was night shift, so I cannot shit. But only a few weeks until I can shout as loud as I want, because I'll love myself. Who's that? It's my dad. But I'm going to have this and I think I'm going to go to Brayhead and Silverburn. I've seen Abby do this fantastic pre-mark haul and I thought I must get involved. But this is breakfast part two. Because the egg bites just aren't a full breakfast, they are a snack. So this is breakfast part two. I've got my protein, yogurt, strawberries, coconut and 
a protein shake. So I'm really wanting, guys, to get quite muscly. I'll be honest in saying that before, like, I was going through a phase where I was like, I just want to be skinny, like, just pure small and petite and whatever. But now I'm like... I am ready to embrace the muscles. Like if I'm going to the gym and I'm working hard, I want to have some proof. I want to be able to go, yeah, yeah, this is what I got. See these? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I want a nice wee peach behind, you know, I want some junk in my trunk. I would love like a wee bit more kind of shoulder muscles, maybe like a wee kind of bicep, nothing like, I don't want to be like ripped. But you know what I mean? I went to see the bodyguard in the theatre. I sound so posh when I say theatre. Okay, posh queen. Ugh, why do they stink so bad? The, the, these smell. Mm. And one of the girls had the most gorgeous body. She was so toned and quite a lot of definition, quite, quite muscly arms, I thought. Mm. So I'm just trying to eat loads of protein and hopefully one day I wake up what, an Adonis? Sorry, I didn't vlog in Brayhead. And do you know what? I probably won't be vlogging in Silver Burn either because would you vlog on your lonesome in public? Probably not. It is weird. I would say I'm not easily embarrassed, but that fucking gives me the biggest ready of all time. I'm fucking mortified whipping out my camera on my own in a social setting. I'll get these hauls when I'm home, okay? Peace out, babes. Okay. Megan, I'm just that. Hi, me and my mumsy. <laughs> Classic. Love the paper bags in Primark. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm absolutely here for paper over plastic, but it isn't good when they rip. I'm gonna do a wee haul. Do you want to stick around, Mum? See what no. I got. No, see what I got. Oh, I'm almost up. Right. First up, these jammies. Classic. So comfortable. The I'm gonna take these to roads. These are gonna be my. We're going to clean it, Mel, like you're cleaning it. Oh, thank you. These are going to be my birthday jammies. Then I've got this bikini, look at this one. Oh, lovely. Primark pops off. I've said that once, say it again. Brilliant. So that goes like that, obviously. Over the knockers. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are the wee pants. I tried them on, so they're. Oh, your heat. Uh huh, they go like that. Ooh. And this is towelling material, so it's gorgeous. Really impressed, Primark. Keep it up. So I'm now exfoliating gloves because mine's just disappeared, don't they? It's just weird. But only a few more weeks of that. Then <laughs> 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 I also got some wee earrings. Loving the clam vibes. I got some hair brushes. Because I actually ordered, I wonder if my look fantastic, oh my, oh, I'm just getting all the holes. My look fantastic stuff came in, I've ordered some hair gels and like hair pomades. So I'm going to become like slick Rick, like wait till you see this. Megano's entering her hairstylist era. Some deal for the pits. I got some exfoliating stuff out of uh, Superdrug to try and exfoliate this face. It's very patchy. Then I got some socks, obviously. Socks. And then I bought these trainers in, what do I call it? JD, junior section, 50 bucks versus like a hundred pounds if you're a lady's size. Um, so these, right? These wee Adidas campus trainers, I have them in pink. I also got them from the junior section. I'm gonna change the laces to white, so envision that. Pardon pig. Ugh. But and then I can show you my wee other hauls. Refi makeup. I never buy makeup, but I shit you not, my makeup kit has been with me for about the past decade. But I've been hanging about with Molly and she's been telling me all these products I need and I'm easily influenced. So this is a gorgeous packaging, I must say. So I ordered the brush, um, a cream bronzer. Oh, I'm really scared with that. I just don't know if I have the skills for a cream bronzer. Then I got a cream blusher and this brow tint. Jess Hunt was raving about it so I'll take her word for it. I know it is her product after all but look she sucked me in on look fantastic. I'm starving. Brazilian bum bum cream. More of the Elemis Pro Collagen Band to take my makeup off and then look these are my hair. Wow that is humongous. 
the value for money is great. This was like seven pound. And then this, I did have this, but I lost it. And that's me. Yup, that's me. So I really need to learn how to style my hair. It's holding me back in life. The fact that I cannot cuddle or do anything of the sort to my hair is seriously holding me back. I'm just straighten my hair. I'm just really boring. Uh, right, makeup time. I've definitely got my work cut out for me because look, got my patchy face. And unfortunately, makeup skills is not something I possess either. I want to try and use my Nurify. Where's up here? Oh, I'm a bit nervous about it. The cream, the cream um, contour, bronzer, whatever it is, is scaring me. I mean, I'm not going to be a negative Nancy because I didn't make this YouTube channel all those years ago to sit and moan. But the makeup is atrocious. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. It's not going well. It's not it's not going well. No. Actual abort mission. Abort mission. We're starting again. I scrubbed it all off. I scrubbed my face so hard I'm surprised there's any skin left on it. I also shaved my moustache because I had a literal green moustache five minutes ago. It was not the vibe. I'm not really someone to care. Look, I'm not looking to produce MUA makeup, but the green moustache and like the, 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 the skin was just not given. It wasn't given. So I'm not going to vlog me doing my makeup because clearly it's quite a stressful time for me. I'll report back and hopefully I won't look like Crusty the Clown. Right, I've looked better, I've looked worse, it is what it is, at least the makeup is not too patchy. Don't get me wrong, my eyeliner looks like it could fly like a jumbo plane to Singapore, they are so big, the wings. But it is what it is, it's time for my outfit, I've not done my lip shit either, so bear that in mind. Um, outfit is downstairs. So the next dilemma is, I don't know if the outfit is given child, but we'll see. A nice day it is out there. <sighs> right. Look how dark my head is. Wow. Ladder me in that shit. Right. So the dress. Okay. Then I have one of these neck things. And then I'm wearing my Rurin Turin Cabot boots. These ones. Got these last year. So the the theme is prom. Um, I don't really know what that means. I mean, would you wear a prom? Maybe in like Tennessee or something. I take back everything I said, guys. I love it. I love I love this look. Right, let's see. Mm, I love when I wear cowboy boots and they clickety clockety. Can you see me? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cup Nigel. Sorry, everything I said about this dress and this look, I, th I actually love it. Meow. Listen to how good I am at meowing, right? talent I don't know I don't know I've not tied this properly the neck thing I'm not sure how to tie that but I'm gonna meet the girls soon I'm gonna get the train and we're gonna meet at the Ivy mm, fancy ladies have some dinner have some drinks and then go to the event which is in hide and seek in Glasgow once me Nadine and Erin went there after Nadine quoted us a cam graduation lunch it was on a school night we went and we were in hide and seek until it closed, going fucking mental. And oh my god, now I can tell you this story. We were out all night, like mental, right? I stumbled in. I was like, my mum had to take my chicken nuggets off me because she said I was going to choke on them. And I had to be the next morning at 9am in the Dakota Hotel to meet the BBC from the show. And 
I, well, I rocked up looking terrible. I hadn't even brushed my hair. I had stains all down my top. And everyone was like, so you've been out? I was like, yeah. I'm just walking to the train station looking like a bit of a fanny. Do I have the station to myself? Ay ay, ay ay. Try not to be loud just in case there is people there. Ended up in Wonderbar!